Good evening, everyone. My name is Sheila Iyer, and I am from Mumbai. I welcome you all to a ninth episode of Literacy Zone, a platform for both established and budding writers and poets. Manoj Krishnan ji is the founder of ALS and his vision to promote Asian arts, culture, and literature is is taking to a next level. I extend my heartfelt thanks to him and his entire team. for all the initiatives that they take on daily basis and come up with various wonderful programs today on our show we have two guests ms uma natrajan a great performer and a writer and sweety soni lal a regular contributor before introducing our guest i would like to share a great news with all of you i'm sure you must have read in the asian literary uh, page asian literary society page but today i would like to mention this asian literary society has been selected in the 2021 facebook community accelerator program a total of 131 participants have been chosen by facebook from various countries there were around 13000 applicants from india and out of this only 13 community leaders have been chosen Mr Manoj Krishnan is one among them a big applause and hearty congratulations to Manoj Krishnan ji for contributing immensely to grow this community Manoj Krishnan ji all the best and hearty congratulations now time to introduce our wonderful guest Umanatran Umanatran ji is a artist who uses words as her medium she likes to write in english and hindi she holds a masters degree in english literature from mlb college gwalior mp she studied in hindi medium school as a young girl in gwalior mp her grandfather who was passionate about english literature introduced her to some great authors and poets she considers herself extremely lucky to have had the opportunity to study under professor bisse during her masters degree she was inspired by the works of romantic british poets such as william wordsworth perch by she shelley and john keats as well as american writers emily dickson dickinson and robert frost sorry one poem that made a huge impact on her is the last ride together by victorian poet robert browning after graduating she worked as a language teacher she also coached students appearing for bank examinations she contributed regularly in magazines like women sera alive and karwa and many more her articles in hindi appeared in national magazines like dharma yug vama and nayi duniya with her new passion for technology she now contributes frequently on many online poetry forums such as allpoetry.com hellopoetry.com and asian literary society she has spent over thousands of poems and continues to write daily she has contributed in two anthologies with world peace gems of poesy and lyrical new dew drops her dream is to continue writing and contribute to literature and to help youngsters who own their lit own their language skills one of her books rainbow of thoughts is already published by authors press delhi and around 15 books on poetry are self published she has written 15 stories in english and indradhanush and khwabo ka karwa is a collection of hindi poems that is expected to get published soon my best wishes ma'am for your upcoming hindi poetry and welcome to our show Our next guest is Sweety Soni Lal from Patna. She completed her graduation in English honors from IGNO. Her poems have appeared in two anthologies, Rhythm of Love and Beauty of Life. Writing is not just a hobby, but it's her passion. She shares her feelings and thoughts through words. At the age of 13, when she had no one by her side, nature and words became her best friends. She realized people will come and go but words in nature will never leave writing makes her happy peaceful and calm her mother is her greatest inspiration she firmly believes in karma 
nature and love inspires her welcome sweetie ji taking the session ahead my first question is for uma ma'am uma ma'am you studied in yes. hindi medium tell us about your journey from hindi to english literature and who inspired you the most to take this path thank you shivaji and sweetie ji warm greetings to both of you namaste ma'am i thank the entire team of als for giving me this golden opportunity to participate in the interesting literary interaction in the literary zone manoj krishnan ji is tremendous initiative taken in the field of art and literature in spite of his being a technologist is really astounding his success and achievement is extraordinarily brilliant and unique i wish him all the success and it is through manoj ji's influence i came into this world of technology actually he in introduced me to this world of technology operating computer operating smartphone and also operating uh, steam maker now i will thank sheila for her beautiful question actually this question has kindled the roots of my past which makes me get lost in the rumination of thoughts i inherited the genes of writing from my grandfather and my elder brother in the year 1960 my grandfather came to stay with us in gwalior madhya pradesh when i was a 8th standard student my grandfather was a noted musician instead of offering me chocolates biscuits or any other gift he immediately handed over to me a collection of books his vast treasure and those were some books of thomas hardy charles dickens shelley keats and many essays like stevenson addison steel and ben johnson the first thing he did was he handed over to me david copperfield written by charles dickens and told me to write few lines on it i was just a dumbstruck and shocked because i was a hindi medium student but i accepted the challenge and within a week's time i finished the book and i wrote the following lines i wrote david copperfield deals with the moral of simplicity sympathy kindness and generosity and more desired than wealth lust or social position my grandfather was very happy he offered me a 10 rupee note which meant a lot and which was a great amount in 60s this was my first two lines that i wrote in the initiative progressive years later on listening to his advice i did my graduation and post graduation in english literature i was also influenced by my professor who taught me last right together 
and his rhythmic motion still echoes in my ears. Thank you. Lovely. What a what an inspiring journey. What an inspiring journey. Truly. In fact, you inspire so many of us with your writings and various performances. And one, I am one of your fan. I'm truly one of your fan. Thank you, uh, thank you. Okay, ma'am, tell us about uh, your interest in music and dance. Not only me, but I'm sure our viewers would also like to know. Actually, in the early years, when I was a teenage girl, I learned Kathak and Bharatanatyam from Master mm -hmm. Shankar and Master Girija. Okay. And after 30 years, I once performed Bharatanatyam on the stage. But mm -hmm. later on, because of my disease, osteoporosis, I restricted to my dance performance. And nowadays, I just manage to dance. That's all. It's not managing it. You are doing it very, very well. And I'm sure all the audiences, all the viewers who are watching you today will agree with me. I'm damn sure they will agree with me because we have seen your dance. You do so well at this age. You do so well, really very well. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for sharing, sharing okay. these uh, beautiful things. Uh, now our viewers are waiting to listen from you. You have penned down thousands of poems and also a few yes. stories. So what would you like to recite today or narrate today? Yes, I would like to recite one poem which has okay. appeared in the blog of Asian Literary Society. And it was a prize winning poem. It is on Great. tranquility. Great. The peaceful stillness of the night. Tranquility draws me closer to mystical moonlight. Gazing at the vast Shimmering sky looking so bright. Delicate winds sing the serene tunes with delight. Old trees nearby share their wisdom with might. Stars describe their magnificent, glorious rite. Spending nights with glowworms, listening to their plight. Memories spin under. Spindles of happiness serene, assuring to erase miseries which were solemnly mine. Tranquil showers wash over my melancholy divine, removing my stress by gently wiping it through calm sublimity. In the tumultuous sphere, ignoring away torments by integrity, raindrops like the enlightened genuine healer. Gift me a soulful, harmonious day like a protector. Nature tenderly cocoons eternal love, paying the visit to me from all above, providing peace in the plentiful bounty, the poignant voice of sympathy which nature shows in its county. Around them in placidness, the tranquil feeling grows which cradles delights of immortality like watching a sleeping infant with a soft breed heavenly expression over its dimpled chin in the sheet bringing never-ending tranquility thank you beautiful poem ma'am really lovely poem and a soothing rendition thank you so much thank you very much Welcome, My next welcome. question is to you, Sviti You have been writing so many poems and quotes. Do you have any plans to publish your own book? Yeah, I have a, a plan to, to, for publishing my own book. But my writing journey has started since w one year only. So I didn't have focused on that particular base. I, I only just shared my thoughts and emotions and just wrote through the word and feel so calm. Absolutely, I just feel like words are my friend and give me the attention towards the real silence of my within self and self-realization. Showing me the path of that versatile wave that what is perfect or what is imperfect for me is that focusing on my side. So I, I am a new, I'm a new writer in this journey 
and so means I have a regard for all that respected excellencies who is in front of me like Manoj Krishnan sir, Uma ma'am and many others. I just bow down and just keep my regard for all of them. And for you dear, thank you so much for inviting me and giving me this wonderful and great opportunity to having sharing my thoughts and emotion through all of you. Welcome, welcome. And uh, all the best for your future. Thank you so now, much. Now, which dear. poem would you welcome? Which poem would you like to share with us today? Uh, my poem title is uh, means uh, based on I uh, means I wrote the poem on Lord Shiva. So means title is truth, okay. and I'm sharing. How strange know the time occurrences. How the conditions get changes according to the time zone and appearances. But nothing is permanent here with their absolute structures. Then why we take so much delay for recognizing these real realities of life journey? What is the greatest proud for us here? Look or the realization of truthness with dare. Obviously, truth is the biggest affinity for aware. Then be aware with life's journey of ups and downs. These are also the path of life's direction with instructions on crown. Don't be proud of any of your gettable success. It seems like a shining gaze is on you. Actually, it is not always fixed with you at ever last. Better be believe in the real, not in fake contrast. So understand the real meaning of life because at last surely you would be able to understand this. Watch reality with pride. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. And uh, okay, great. Now, my, my second regards. question. My second question again. My next question again to is Uma ma'am. Uh, which forms of poetry do you prefer writing and why? Yes, very interesting question. And your presentation is so admirable. Thank A you, very good question. Actually, there are 15 forms of poetry. Blank verse, free verse, rhyme, narrative, ballad, rhyme, pastoral, elegy, ode, sonnet, lyrical, ballad, limerick, soliloquy, and villainal. I prefer only free verse because it okay. is very easy to write. And first of all, Actually, poetry is based on the structure, like a building is based on foundation. And the basic structure of poetry is stanza. And this stanza is further subdivided into lines and meter. But most of the poets these days don't follow these stanzas. We only adopt free verse, and father of free verse is Walt Whitman. And I follow T.S. Eliot and W.B. Eats. So this is the main form, free form, which I use. Free form. That is free verse. Free verse, yes. yeah. Very, yeah, yes. you have great knowledge about these things as well. And um, if you ask me, I prefer to write poems that rhyme. I mean, as of now, that's what I've been doing. But of course, I will be also learning other uh, forms of poetry so that I can go ahead with those forms as well. And yes. you are there you are there as an inspiration for all of us. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. Thank you is, so much. Yes. There is okay, one haiku I missed. Uh, yeah, we still have a bit of time. So uh, before uh, we go ahead with my poetry, with your permission, of course, uh, our viewers yes. are waiting to hear another poem from you. So which one you're going to recite? Yes, yes. I wrote it long back. And it also appeared in the blog of Asian Literary Society. It's a prize winning poem. And it is okay. on spring. As the spring steps in reminiscent of melodies and serenade of the surroundings, scent of rose 
flow around creating never ending bonding blades of green grass grow mounting go our longing mitti shower of bliss soak the earth with glorious colors sun vibrant appears to bow with radiant bowers dainty petals dance in the sweet air with graceful showers winter disappears and retires quite elegant snow melts sorrow drives off spring wakes up ebullient under the chandelier of sun's effluent enlightenment birds flock and swarm children play and engross in entertainment spring is miraculous making the world so much alive in conspicuous beneath the cold hard world so much alive in conspicuous beneath the cold hard world plants have already prepared their rebirth now they sprout with rejuvenation and mirth excitement and jest after the cold winter zoom and settle charm of spring awaken our spirit like the boiling tea in the kettle grass is green across the hills yellow daffodils bloom with grand will thank you very well said and a very good poem i just loved it and uh, you congratulations for winning thank you okay. my next question is again for sweeti ji if you get an opportunity which indian author would you like to meet mm, i would like to meet sudha murthy ma'am okay. because i used to hear yeah her many of poetry i have read and i means i appreciate her means her thought her deep thought and inspirational and the reality of the uh, of the being particular she always used to making her side for for the realness she didn't believe in the fake or uh, the unreal thing at all and i really respect her her thoughts i worship her actually and and want to hear uh, means sudha murthy ma'am Sudha Murthy. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, that's a that's actually her books are two very good books and easy yeah. to understand also. Yeah, like, I, very, I also I used to hear her speeches on YouTube. Many of her speeches I used to hear because I really inspired by her. Many of my my ways I inspired by totally. Her means I okay. agree just to have okay. each of one words. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, uh, with your permission. I would like to recite a poem of mine. Can I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank sure. you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay. The title of my poem is "Pardon Me." I thought life is filled with love and compassion, but you wounded my soul by your actions. I dreamt of building a castle with love for you, but you crushed my dreams before I knew. I loved the warmth of your embrace. but today love has left only a printed trace awful memories lingered in my heart as if it had no plans to depart i cannot carry this emotional baggage any more pardon me for closing my heart's door i have no grudges but my heart needs healing pardon me for getting detached from stubborn feelings pardon me for i let myself love you this mistake my heart will never do though it may have taken long but finally i found inner peace and harmony thank you so much that wonderful thank you so much wonderful wonderful okay now that we i would have uh, taken i would have asked few more questions and we would have gone ahead with few more poems but uh, we do not have enough time now so i would like to end the session great to be a great uh, i i was very happy for you both and uh, this was indeed a fabulous session with a fantastic guest thank you uma ma'am and sweeti ji for being here Welcome. with us and making thank this you. session interesting with your beautiful poems 
thank you manoj krishnan ji and als for this platform thank you all the viewers for being here good night and see you next week same time good night till then good, good night bye bye